this is a video on how to calculate binomial probabilities. A TV show has a share of 16, meaning that among the TV sets in use, 16% were tuned into the show. Assume an advertiser wants to verify that 16% share value by conducting its own survey consisting of 12 households with TV sets in use during the viewing time of the show. Part A, find the probability that none of the households are tuned into the show. So we're setting this up like a binomial experiment. A success is when somebody is tuned in. The probability someone's tuned into the show is about 0.16. Find the probability none, in other words, exactly zero, of the households are tuned into the show. So to find this binomial probability, number of trials is 12 because they're going to go to 12 households. Probability someone's tuned in or probability of a success is 16. And then your lower bound, since you're looking at just zero people tuned in, your lower and upper bound are both going to be zero. So Google Sheets, let's go ahead and type this in. We're going to be looking at 12 trials. Probability of success is 0.16. Lower and upper are both zero. You have 0.1234. So the probability is 0.1234. What's the probability that exactly zero households are tuned into the show? Find a probability that at least one, that means greater than or equal to one. So that means one, two, three, four, all the way up to 11, and even 12 of the households are tuned in. So number of trials is still 12. Probability of a success is 0.16. Lower bound is going to be 1. Upper bound is going to be 12. So lower is 1, upper is 12. So go to Google Sheets, Compute tab, lower bounds 1, upper bounds 12. 0.8766. 0.8766. That is the probability in this case. What about at most? At most, that means less than or equal to one. That means zero or one. Those are the only options we're looking at here. So number of trials is still 12. Probability of success is still 0.16. Your lower bound, the smallest number of successes you're concerned with is zero your upper bound would actually have to be one. So zero and one, that would be your lower bound and your upper bound. 0 0.4055, 0 0.4055. So that being said, part D, let's kind of put this all together here. If at most one household is tuned into the show, does it appear that 16% share value is wrong? Another way to word this is to say is the probability of at most one unusual. Remember, unusual means less than 0 0.05. Well, since 0 0.4055 is not less than 0 0.05 the answer is the answer is no so that's how you work out that question <laughs>